I know tons of artists who can draw circles around me who never spent a day in a classroom studying art. To go or not to go to art school? That is the question that brings us together today. I did go to art school. I went to the Rocky Mountain College of Art and Design in Denver, Colorado, and I graduated with a degree in illustration. I was someone who thought that the path to do in life is go to college, graduate, get a job. Nowadays, there's a vast amount of information online. The question we're asking ourselves today is, should I go to art school or should I not go to art school? What are the pros and cons? So if you're making this decision with someone like your parent or your partner, anyone, I think it might be well worth to watch this with the people who are helping you <laughs> with your decision. I know this video is long. If it's too long, you can skip to the end because I do paraphrase a lot of what everyone says, yet please watch the whole video. I think there's a lot of great wisdom in there and it'll help you make your decisions if you're really battling this question. Okay, keep in mind, I'm a washed out artist who didn't stick with it and instead switched over to writing. So take anything I say with a bunch of salt. Even when I was a regular working writer, no one asked me where I went to school. All they care about is the results on the page. Now it depends, do you think a school is gonna be what gets you to that point? Or are you disciplined enough to kinda of seek out this information on your own and apply it? Because I don't wanna poo poo good teachers, they're amazing. And I know plenty of people who owe a lot to a professor here or just someone, or not even like a full on university, even just at a community college, you'd be surprised the level of talent that might be teaching there. I actually went to school for art and I changed like after the first semester or a year, um, cause I was like, okay, they aren't gonna focus on anything like I'm wanting to do. I wanted to do illustration comics type stuff. So I became an English lit major, but I felt like it really informed my art. Uh, even when I was working as an artist full time, you know, I think a lot of times you might want to try to find mentors and do the art on a separate track and go to college for another interest altogether. It just makes you a more well-rounded creator. The ideal thing, I, I think, is still the old, uh, it's kind of the oldest practice in the world, is being an assistant to an artist. Um, I would recommend not going to art school. I would recommend taking classes at maybe at a community college where it's cheaper and just take things like anatomy or color theory or, or do life drawing. Because I feel like it, you, through practice and with the internet and having peers on the internet and through social media, there's a lot of great ways to learn things on your own without spending a lot of money and being in debt. Did you go to art school at all? I did. I flunked out. <laughs> I flunked out my first year. Did you find any classes useful that you took before then? Um, I think the classes that I found useful was anatomy. And I did take a still life oil painting class. It taught me to like see other colors in objects outside of the obvious colors. I personally did not go to art school. I didn't actually finish college. Like when I was a teenager, I met a, car a very uh, beloved and prolific cartoonist, Batten Lash, at a blood drive in San Diego. And when I uh, made my first comic when I was 17, like my first full 22 page comic, I sent him an email and just asked him, what do I do? And that began a series of personal introductions where people who knew what they were doing would introduce me to other people who knew what they were doing. And over the next, you know, five or so years of you know going to conventions and, and setting up private meetings with people I just kind of educated myself plus you know a lot of drawing during my lunch breaks at Starbucks and uh, and just practice uh, so I I did it without education but on the other hand uh, Steve and Colleen uh, had to teach me how to draw digitally when I was 27 uh, I, I didn't even know about using a blue pencil or a light box until Matt Wagner taught me. I was 25. So 
uh, I'm sure if I'd gone to art school, I would have had a lot of technical fundamentals that I had to sort of backwards learn along the way. Um, but I'm also proof that you don't have to go to art school and be successful because at least for my uh, desires, I'm pretty successful without it. I, uh, I went to a public college to study animation. It was the only public college in Texas that I could go to to study animation. I'm for going to like a a generalized college um, in studying art in one of the sub programs, uh, which is what I did. And um, you get to study like a whole range of uh, a whole range of subjects that will help, if, especially if you want to tell stories, having that kind of a range of study. So you can find inspiration from all sorts of places other than just, uh, I have a very sort of like movie idea of what art school is supposed to be like or like traditional art school. Mine was pretty, my art classes were, weren't like the kind that were um, the bad stereotype or what seems to be the case at some private art schools where you like you don't sleep. That was never my experience at a public college. So I always highly recommend going to a uh, studying art at a public college and being in way less debt. I'm still in debt, but it's way less than it would have been if I had tried to go to SCAD. Uh, I would say uh, a la carte art school. You know, not going for the degree, not signing up for the whole thing, but like pick and choose what you feel like you need to learn and then peace out when you're done. Like, there's no need, there's no reason to have a degree. Did you go to art school at all? I did, and I dropped out as well. <laughs> <laughs> what classes did you think were the most useful for you? Mm, I, anatomy. I loved anatomy, and uh, I studied fine arts painting. Uh, I was going for the whole degree. What was most helpful for me, you know, you could read that stuff in a book, but what you can't get is, like, a peer review. People, you know, standing right in front of you, looking at your stuff and critiquing it, being able to learn how to take that ask questions or explain your art to other people. I think when you understand your art better, uh, you get better. Uh, and then also, you know, it's a crash course in deadlines. Art school was the right move for me, uh, but this was uh, the late 1980s, as others have mentioned, the resources that are now easy to access and free were just not available. Uh, I had studied fine art at college and had gotten virtually nothing of any use whatsoever. Uh, I, had, I had asked an instructor to teach me what perspective was because I had heard of it and I thought it might be handy. And the instructor told me, and I quote, you don't want to learn that, that would ruin you. I didn't have the language to fight back or, or the wherewithal, but I, I knew that I wasn't going to get anything that I needed to, to tell stories in, in that environment. Um, so I also wound up uh, at the Joe Kubert School, which was, a, as Ron mentioned, a trade school for cartoonists. And I got a terrific education there. I got the education I needed. And I, I came out of that school in, with maybe $13,000 of debt. Uh, now I think that's a semester at a, at a decent art college. For all the reasons that other people mentioned, art school could be great if you could go on somebody else's dime. If you're paying for it yourself, you can, you can teach yourself pretty effectively. I was definitely the type of individual who uh, was not particularly good at being self-motivated when I was like in high school slash coming out of high school. And I don't know that I would have managed to get myself a career in art if I hadn't gone to art school, if that makes any sense. Like I wanted to, and I was like doing life drawing outside of my classes in high school and like trying to put together a portfolio. But I feel like the one thing that I really appreciated art school for was like kicking my ass and teaching me how to focus and develop my skills and what to look for. I'm not sure that I would have had the motivation as a person fresh out of high school personally to just be like, oh, I can get this on YouTube. Although also I went to art school in the early 2000s when YouTube was like not really what it is today. That being said, art school is intensely expensive and I was lucky enough to go uh, and have my tuition covered for me. So I walked out of there without any debt 
I honestly can't imagine how I would feel about art school if I did have like tens of thousands of dollars worth of student debt to pay off afterwards because I didn't walk out of there having a high enough paying job to be able to cover stuff like that. I went to art school. I went to University of Oklahoma. It wasn't like a dedicated art school, but they had an art program, but it was fine arts only. It wasn't illustration or anything like that. So I just wanted to uh, kind of let comic books go while I was in college and just do fine art and stuff like that. And then apply that afterwards to my art and everything. Cause I've always been more like interested in like artists like Dave McKean and Bill Sienkiewicz and just crazy art guys, you know? And I'm a, uh, but now that I've gotten out of college and I'm $90,000 in debt, I would say don't go to art school because you can learn everything you know from YouTube, schoolism, Skillshare, all these cool places now that teach things, uh, individuals who teach, go through a whole spectrum of things to learn online. You can, every aspect of art you can learn on YouTube. I mean, if you can afford it, you should go to school and it's awesome. You make connections, you do things you wouldn't normally do. And that's one of the reasons I went to school because I wanted to have projects forced on me that I wouldn't normally do myself. And that was nice, but if you can do that yourself, it's so much cheaper. <laughs> For context, I was accepted to two separate art schools straight out of high school that I couldn't afford. So I ended up deferring both of them. Um, and in the long run, I went to two community colleges and a state university. I'm, I am not pro art school. I am pro public schools and university. Community colleges, and state colleges are an invaluable resource that are a heck of a lot more affordable. For what I ended up with in debt for just going to Portland Community College and Portland State is less than one year at one of the art schools that I was accepted to. In the long run, I can't say that I learned comics or illustration at either of those schools. I learned discipline, I learned the foundations, and I met a lot of critical people within the comics community that have helped me in my career. Like one of the biggest things is the simple fact, can you afford it? Uh, like other people have said, there's a lot of tools and assets that are available now that like YouTube University is probably one of the best things. And also if you are the type of person that can network to and like reach out and be able to get out and learn from other people, that's actually pretty good. Like I went to art school. I went to the Savannah College of Art and Design, went to, did the sequential art program. So I appreciate learning like everything I learned from that and like the, actually how comics work. And actually one thing I'll give credit to SCAD is that they treat it, things uh, pretty commercially. Like this is, you, know, you want to treat it like a business like how to actually figure things out. Like meeting like other fellow students, meeting like people like Les and other people that I know, and that's like became a like great networking system. So I appreciate that part. But if you know yourself and that you can go out and meet people like at conventions or just meeting other people online and be able to pick their brain, if you're that type of person that can easily do that, Maybe not. I think art school can be very valuable. I went to SCAD. I was in the same class as John. We roomed together in college. But I would say the same thing. Uh, I, I loved going to SCAD. I made lifelong friendships. I made connections that continue to get me work. Uh, the editor on the book I'm working on right now is a friend of mine from college. But uh, at the same time, college tuition just keeps going up. I, I, I graduated in 99 and I think the total cost for my college was something like $89,000 and it's something like 190 now. It's that's too much. I'm going to lean toward no art school. Um, but my experience with art school was a little weird where I just, I, I literally moved to Portland and a few years later I picked the first college with art in the name and took out loans and went for graphic design, which I did not understand what that was at the time until I was a little ways into it. And I was just like, oh, this is for like, for like type layout and stuff like that. Well, I got a really good foundation in the software and just the technicalities of like layout and composition and things like that. In the end, it, it, it wasn't as valuable as it could have been if I'd gone to a different art school or done my own research but this is also back in like the early 2000s so 
the robust internet learning that exists now was not there at the time. And so, uh, and I'm someone who's bad at networking, needs structure. And so for those reasons, I, I did get something out of it. But if I had it to do over again, I would either uh, go to a more um, fine art oriented school, or I just would have, uh, you know, worked harder to pick other people's brains and do something similar to like a helioscope internship or something like that. Brain needs to assess like what what their needs and like what they want to learn is and things like that but yeah no art school <laughs> so i did go to art school it's very expensive i'll have student loans until i die <laughs> <laughs> i when i entered art school i was probably 25 years old i was there i was ready to get my degree and then leave and start working in like my chosen field and so i put a lot into my education i worked really hard and and tried to do my best and I felt like I was witnessing a lot of students who were fresh out of high school, who for better or for worse, won most artistic in high school, and then their parents paid for them to go to college. I was raised in a military family. And so for me, I was like, well, this is like boot camp. And the first year is like boot camp. How many of these people aren't going to be here next year? And a lot of them weren't. But some of the people that I started school with totally did, you know, flourish and excel there. And I think that art school is good if you put into it what you, you know, what you want to, you'll get out of it what you put into it. I know plenty of artists who didn't go to art school. They're way better than me. They're like way more technically skilled. But those people treated not going to art school, they treated their life as like, I'm going to educate myself and work hard though. Like they still put in the hours of all the drawing and all the, all the practice that they needed to do to get to where they felt they wanted to be. I went, first of all, I went to uh, the Joe Kubert School, which is very, you know, focused obviously on comic books and graphic art jobs. Um, and I found I got a lot of good practical information there. Uh, and I also made a network of friends and connections that have, you know, enriched and enabled my career in a lot of ways over the decades since I went there. I, I think the, my bottom line for it is I didn't learn anything at the art school that I went to that I could not have learned on my own, on my own initiative by seeking things out and you know, following my own you know, artistic um, curiosities and seeking out the answers on my own. It just, I got it in a more accelerated and intense you know, dose. A lot of people do have to know their own, their own strengths, their own learning styles as it were. Are, are they the sort of person who, who feeds on the energy of uh, you know, of a group setting and, and, and would benefit a lot from that. And then weigh that against how much it just costs so much to go to art school. And usually you get out of art school and you do not emerge into a career where you're already making six figures. <laughs> you may never come within, you may never come within a long bow shot of six figures over the course of your entire career. For, there are some definite benefits, but, but I, I'm, I'm not sure that, that it very often pans out to have been worth all the money that you have to pay for it for largely a lot of information that you can find and get in other ways. Uh, I'm going to say don't go to a general art school. First of all, it depends on the medium. Uh, if you're doing, let's say video game work, 3d wireframe animation, something that requires a lot of technical skills. Yeah. You're going to need to take some classes, but that doesn't mean that doesn't mean you have to take a, a broad section of classes that includes theory and history and stuff like that. Both my mother and father went to the Art Institute. They met there. So before I even went to high school, I knew what, I knew what secondary school I was going to. But everything that I learned there uh, was valuable, but it was not anything that I could have learned a generation later using YouTube. Take classes if you need technical skills. And then if you want aesthetic skills, develop them yourself using friends, YouTube, um, just online, just social media, study what you like, study what works for you, and find your own voice. If you're going to be a freelancer, you're going to have to develop the self-discipline it takes to work in freelancing. And that means that uh, if you can develop that skill, then you can develop the, the, the discipline to seek out tutorials online and to sit down by yourself without 
the, you know, the discipline of, of a classroom situation and work on your skills on your own because you're going to be essentially doing that. Again, depends on the art. I'm talking about mainly about people who want to be illustrators and comic book artists. They don't need to go to art school. Get on YouTube, get a class on how to, you know, operate Clip Studio or Photoshop if you need to do that. It's up to you to determine your own voice, find what styles work for you, et cetera, et cetera. Well, 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 look at you. You made it this far in the video. Thanks for watching this far. So let's start paraphrasing because that was a lot of information. Don't go to art school if you can't afford it yourself. The second thing we learned is that for people who don't go to art school, they miss out on peer review to a certain extent. But this can be found through having a community online or going to community college where you have people you can interact with and also instructors. Also having an internship, being an apprentice to an artist somewhere. Another thing we heard is taking art school a la carte, which as Joelle said, is essentially taking the art classes you think might benefit you the most, but not going for your whole degree. You don't need a degree to be an artist. Clients and businesses are going to look at your portfolio and your skills. So all of this is kind of great news for you out there who don't want to go to art school, who don't want to be in debt, who don't want to buy into this societal system that doesn't work for everyone. Well, thank you for watching. I hope that if you were having difficulties deciding what to do, I hope this gives you a little bit more personal clarity. Drop us a line in the comments if you have any follow-up questions that you'd like us to address in further videos. Thanks again for watching. I'm Layla Del Duca, and I'll see you here next time.